What are the best canned meats available from your local Dollar General store to put into your prepper pantry for long-term storage? And at the end of the video, I'll show you the best canned food option that has meat as the largest ingredient in the can. And I'll also show you the best alternative to canned meat, but still a canned protein source. So before we get to the five best options available, let's do a general review of all the different canned meat options that they have. So first is the beef. And the Dollar General has your traditional roast beef, their own store brand of corned beef. There's corned beef hash. Corned beef hash, of course, isn't fully or completely a canned meat product, but most of the calories come from the beef portion. And they also have roast beef hash. Now the tuna. In my experience, they have at least three different makers or manufacturers of tuna, bumblebee, starkist, and polar. They, all, they have chunk light tuna, which is primarily skipjack tuna. They have the chunk white albacore and solid white albacore. The polar brand, as I'm making this video, was a dollar a can. One option for tuna that I couldn't find is tuna packed in olive oil. You may find it packed in vegetable oil. That will give you a lot more calories. So you have to make a choice between a lot of calories and a more healthy version, which will be that packed in water. Next is the chicken. And on this shopping trip, the only chicken that I found was the Dollar General store brand, Clover Valley. They did have it in uh, chunk white chicken breast, shredded white chicken. They also had smaller cans of each and chicken salad. That's not a complete chicken only food. It is still primarily chicken. So three different options, but there are times when you can find canned chicken from other manufacturers. And if you put canned chicken into your prepper pantry, you really should watch this video where we compare 12 leading brands of canned chicken in the can and out of the can. It will save you a lot of time, effort, research, and probably a lot of money. And nearly a half a million people have already watched this video for those very reasons. Next on the list is salmon or salmon-like. Clover Valley or the Dollar General's store brand is there. Many times you can find other manufacturers of salmon and they have Jack Mackerel, kind of like the budget type of salmon not exactly, but if you like salmon, you will probably also like the mackerel. Next is the sardines. In my local dollar stores, primarily I've always had beach cliff with those that you see, soybean oil, water, and mustard sauce. Fairly recently, I've also noticed that the Dollar General's store brand, Clover Valley, has started, have, has started having sardines as well. As far as sardines go, those are large sardines as compared to your traditional or your normal looking sardines. Those of you who have watched our channel for a while, you know that pork is not on our menu. The Dollar General, as you can see in this photo, does have a pretty large selection of canned meats that include or are pork. The five best canned meats available from your local Dollar General store. Number five is gonna be the sardines in water. The reason why sardines are on the list, an excellent source of protein and good fats. Myself, I like my sardines to be in olive oil rather than water because olive oil is a good healthy fat and adds a lot of calories to the sardines. Dollar General does have sardines in oil, but it's soybean oil. Number four on the list. going to be the chicken. We eat a lot of chicken here in our home. We like chicken. We get canned chicken also. But there's a reason why Clover Valley canned chicken is not higher on the list. And if you'd like to know why that is, I highly suggest that you watch this video. You might find that your favorite brand of canned chicken ranks really well with the other leading brands or not very well at all. It is a very good source of protein, and when you mix it in recipes with other ingredients, 
you can overcome some of the taste qualities that this one has or lack thereof. Number three on the list, it's going to be the corned beef, which is kind of like the beef version of Spam. The corned beef has lots of fat in it. It's basically hamburger. So protein and fat. Number two on the list. It's going to be one of the tunas, but a particular one. And that is the solid white albacore. This is very high in protein. This little can by itself has 29 grams of protein. Hardly any fat. If you want tuna with fat, you're going to need to choose a different type of tuna, like the chunk white tuna in vegetable oil. But again, that vegetable oil is soybean oil. And when it comes to tuna, for me, I personally prefer the yellowfin tuna in extra virgin olive oil. However, that is not available at the Dollar General store, but this one is. And when it comes to tuna, there's a huge difference in chunk lights and chunk whites and solid whites and yellow fin. And if you put tuna into your prepper pantry, you should really watch this video. And number one on the list of best canned meats from the Dollar General store is the salmon. Whether or not you get the store brand or, if, or a different manufacturer. I believe salmon is the most healthy choice available from the Dollar General store. It has a huge amount of the good fatty acids, the omega-3 fatty acids. They're wild caught, which means they're not farm raised. The five best options in canned meat from your local Dollar General store. Number five, sardines packed in water. Number four, chicken. Number three, corned beef. Number two, solid white albacore. And number one, on the list of the best options in canned meat, the salmon. And if your local dollar store stocks the store brand and a different brand, and I highly suggest that you get yourself one of each, make your favorite salmon patties or whatever you do, uh, or however you use your salmon, try them both, see if one stands out above the other. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the best canned food option that has meat as the largest ingredient in the can. And I'll also show you the best alternative to canned meat. And now the canned food that has meat as the featured ingredient, so to speak. Got different options, the tamales, the chilies, the roast beef hash, and the corned beef hash. If I had to pick one, for me personally, it would have to be the chicken tamales, simply because I can't eat beef anymore. But overall, for most families and ours here, it's going to be the corned beef hash. Because our family likes beef, it has potatoes in it as well. It also has the most calories per can of any of the other options. And the best canned alternative protein, alternative to meat, it's going to be one form or another of beanie weenies. And yes, I know it has the weenies in it. The majority of the calories in beanie weenies comes from the beans and some added sugar. So it's not really a canned meat product. It's a canned food product that has lots of protein. So there you have the five best canned meat options from your local Dollar General store. Plus a couple of alternative options if you want a little bit more than just the meat and your canned food. Remember, this is the five best canned meat options at the Dollar General store. This is not the five best meat options available anywhere. If you'd like to see the very best options available in canned meat, irregardless of what store you're in, that are readily available, then you really need to check this video out. You may have noticed that the Clover Valley Roast Beef didn't make the top five. I bought a couple of cans for this video, and we have a couple of cans left over still in our storage. However, there's a reason that we no longer buy Clover Valley or Dollar General Roast Beef. And if you'd like to know why that is, especially if you buy this kind of roast beef now, then you really should watch this video and you will see why we no longer buy the Clover Valley roast beef. Of all the different types of foods that preppers put into their prepper pantry for long-term storage for those big SHTF type of events, 
I believe that canned food is at the top of the list of what you should include in those foods. Not the only thing, but I do believe that they are the easiest to work with, the easiest to store, reasonably priced, and should make up a big portion of your prepper pantry. And if you are putting canned food into your prepper pantry, or you're considering it, you will really like this playlist.